G'day guys, today we'll be trying to install Windows XP to a USB flash drive on the Asus EPC-1000HA. We'll be using Windows Embedded POSReady 2009, which is based off Windows XP, but is designed to run from flash drives, and I find it does run a lot faster than Windows XP Home or Professional, especially on older devices. As for flash drives, not all of them work out of the box without third-party drivers. These two here unfortunately aren't detected, and getting the correct drivers online can be a bit hit or miss. So in this video, we'll just be installing it to something which is detected out of the box, which is this little USB micro SD card reader with a two gig no name uh, SD card in there. We'll also be connecting a USB keyboard because the keyboard in this is faulty and obviously an external CD drive. So we'll get it all plugged in and we'll come back. To start off, we'll just make sure it's set to boot from the external CD drive, which it is. So we'll save settings and reboot. And hopefully reboot into the installer. So it seems to be loading. I'll come back once we're at the setup page. We're back at the setup screen, so we'll go next. We'll choose interactive setup. I'll enter my product key and we'll come back. We've entered the product key and press next, so we'll go accept and next. Next, we'll just enter a name. This is where you would select third-party drivers if you had a flash drive that wasn't detected originally. Luckily we don't need it for our micro SD reader. Now if it wasn't detected, um, it'll take a little bit longer than this, and then it'll come to a screen saying uh, no drives were found, please restart the installer. Unfortunately there is no back button. The only option is to finish, which will shut down the computer, and then you have to start it all over again. So a bit of a hassle. But for this, we'll just go next. Yep, it'll format everything. Give it a name. I'm just going to call it XPE for embedded. We'll do quick format. You can call it anything you want, doesn't matter. We'll keep it as default, change it to Australia, and we're in Sydney. And we'll change it to Australia as well. Cool. Go next. We'll go custom. Now, I do want all uh, accessories and utilities. Might get rid of Windows Backup. Well, we want the additional drivers, so when you plug in a USB mouse or keyboard, you don't have to insert the CD every time. We don't need any of that. I might get the network tools. Don't have touch screen, but you would enable that if you did. I will enable terminal services so we can RDP into it if we wanted to, and Windows Media. You have to give it a password with at least uppercase, lowercase, a symbol and a number. We'll keep that all default. This takes around half an hour to 40 minutes on this device, unfortunately. So I'll cut here and we'll come back once it's installed or if anything interesting happens. It's about half an hour later now and we're finally at the login screen. So we'll log in with the administrator account and the password we put.
And we're on the desktop. So pause ready 2009. I think we should do a full shutdown and we'll see how long it takes to start up. I'll unplug the external USB drive or the external uh, CD drive, sorry. So all we have plugged in is the flash drive we've installed to and a USB keyboard. Okay, it's fully powered off, so we'll power it on, see how long it takes. That was pretty snappy, I think. I'm assuming we're missing uh, most of the drivers. We'll have a look. I haven't used XP for a while, so... So, video driver is missing. We're just using the generic one at the moment. I'm assuming the uh, SD card reader would also be missing. It's one of these. And Ethernet. So I'll get all the drivers and we'll come back and take a look and see how it actually performs. We're back and we do have all the drivers installed. Luckily, they are all still available on Asus's website, which is very handy. So next, we'll just have a quick look around, see what's already installed. Uh, it's very minimal. But you do have like paint, uh, notepad and all the basics. The trackpad is a little bit finicky on this. So as you can see, paint works fine. It's, it's actually quite fast opening considering it's running from a flash drive. We do have hyper terminal install which is pretty pretty handy. As mentioned, the keyboard is faulty. So everything runs quite well. Um, obviously, you could put Media Player, some games on here to be fine. But let's just test the boot time now with everything installed, all the drivers installed. Okay, so the computer's completely powered off, so we'll power it on and see how long it takes to get to the desktop. And we're at the login screen, so I'll just put the password in. Uh, 
and we're at the desktop. So it didn't take too long, even though we are loading it from a micro SD card in a USB 2 flash um, card reader. Before we go, I'll show you how to enable auto login. So you'll no longer have to enter username and password every time, if that's what you're interested in. So you go start, run, reg edit, go down to HKey local machine, go down to software, go down to Microsoft, go down to Windows NT, current version, and then go down to win logon. On the right hand side, if you don't already have auto admin logon, you can go right click, new, string, you want to call it capital A, lowercase u, t, o, capital A again, d, m, i, n, and capital L, lowercase o, g, o, n. Go into it, we want to change that to a 1. If you already have it, just double click on it and change it to a 1. Next, we'll go and find default username. And administrator, if you had another account, you would change it to the account you want to auto log in as. And then if you already have default password, you double click on it. If not, which we don't here, again, we'll go new string. Call it capital D E F A U L T, capital P A S S W O R D. And inside, we'll just set the password we had. And OK. And that should be it. So we'll close it off. And we'll restart it one more time. We'll do a full shutdown. All right, it's completely off, so we'll power it back on. And it should hopefully bypass the login screen and go straight to the desktop. And we're in. I think that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching.